Oh, Jennifer, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is my mother? The surgery was a success. She's going to be fine, okay? Um, I got her some food. We should be able to eat. Why not? She will. But only when she wakes up. Okay? Okay. Happen. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing now? Yes, yes. Okay, so I would like Yes, um, read out the names of all the loanees whose payments are due within the next few days. You know what? Make that within the next one. Um, Brian, I think we should focus more on... Mr. Oko. Address me as Mr. Oko. Okay. Mr. Oko, I think we should focus more on the loanees whose payments are due in a month rather than those whose payments are due in a week. Hmm. Amanda, read out to me the names of the loanees whose payments are due in a week. Okay, sir. So we have a little over 16 names due in one week. Okay. On the list we have James Agu, Richard Okun, Jeremiah Eziagu, sure. and Paul Udiala. Hello? Yeah, who is this? Mommy, I'm ready. Paul! What happened? How? Where? That... That what? Mommy. That... Mommy! Was that that? Hello?
like my money. Give me my money, they look me. Give me money. One five, give me a. Hey, darling. Hey. Hey. Someone is not in the mood to speak to me today. First, my call bounced back to me this morning, and now, hey. Look, I was in a meeting when you called, okay? We only just finished. What? For real? Why are you staring at me like that now? Okay, fine. I should have called you after the meeting was done. Exactly. I need a drink. Do you not think you'd be scared around here? Uh, no, but I think that... Eh, I'll have a little time. Don't you think it's a little bit too early in the day to be drinking vodka? You know me, Brian. Yeah, I know you. Exactly. I have a trip to Paris to prepare for. Paris? Mm hmm. Believing in the morning. Wait, didn't you just come back from Montreal about two days ago? And Venus three days before mm -hmm. that? You know me, Brian. Yeah, I do. Good. So, see you this tonight? <clears throat> Your place online? Uh, Don't worry, I'll just come over. Mm. <clears throat> okay. That you didn't come though. Did you say something? Hmm. Mm. serious note now. You've been complaining about this relationship for a while. I mean, talk to me now. What's your plan? Plan? <laughs> There's no plan. Look, it's obvious one of us has to leave the other. And from all indication... You will be doing the living. I'll be doing the living. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brian, Brian. <laughs> Finally leaving the shack. <sighs> Finally, man. <laughs> Let me get Amanda and tell her that we clear this cash. Okay. And I guess it was actually Vivian that left this. Who else? Vodka. Hmm? <coughs>
Say crying. No, I just have something in my eyes. Okay, where is Daddy and Mommy? Um, baby, Daddy's working late and Mommy just resting. Do join us soon, okay? Okay. Something is not right. Good day. Uh, who are you? Um, well, we are staff of um, Riverside Investments. We're here to see Mrs. Sudiala. Are you Mrs. Sudiala, please? First of all, please accept our condolences for the demise of your husband. Thank you. Six months ago, Mr. Odeala actually had a business with our company. And then we actually gave him a loan of 10 million euro. And this house, I mean, your house, was used as a collateral. What? How? Well, um, we have all of the details in the his hand on the files. Right there in the file. I'm sure you can go through that and you'll get the whole of the information you need. Jesus Christ. Oh God. I I was never aware of this. And more to that, madam, except the loan sum is being paid back in two days. I'm sorry, you will have to evacuate the house. This is 10 million naira we are talking about. How? How can one get 10 million in two days? One can't even get it in two years. How? I'm very sorry about this, madam. We'd like to take our leave now. This is what I'm going to say. Good evening. Paul. Paul, what have you done? Mommy, stop. You can't keep doing this. We've talked about this. Sweetheart, sit down. Okay. Hmm? 
There's something I need to tell you. What is it? We had visitors earlier today. I know Madam King came and who else? Uh, you won't even allow me to land. Okay. Ah, okay. Land. Land. <laughs> um, two young men came here earlier today. Um, they say they work with Riverside, one company called Riverside. Okay. Um, they presented me um, uh, some documents in which it was clearly stated that your father loaned 10 million naira from them. 10 million naira? Yes. We have a day or two to pay them back, mm. or we lose this house. Oh my God, Mimi. But where do we get such amount in two days? How, how are we going to beg? Who are you? I, I don't, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what we are going to do. How do we get that amount? We just have to do something. Just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what we are going to do. We are going to move out. I have a plan. What is wrong with you? You always have a plan in everything. What plan do you have? Mm. What? I'll drop out of school. Don't give me that look. It's not what you think. I know I don't like school. We don't have any other option. Daddy gave me my school fees a few weeks ago and it has been in my account ever since. I'm only suggesting we use it to get ourselves a little apartment where we can manage for now before we think of the next move. This is the best thing you've ever said in your entire life. But sorry, you are not dropping out. Mm. You must finish school. This is not a time to be stubborn, mommy. Okay, what other choice do we have? Let's hear it. What's your plan? Listen, sweetheart. I will go to that company tomorrow. Okay. I'll go and see the CEO, God by our side, I'll plead with him. I know he will listen. Just allow me to go first. Okay, please. Well, what's, what's the plan B in case they don't, they don't listen? There is no in case. They will listen. They will listen. It's okay. They're not dropping out. They will drop out. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Amanda. How was your night? Very fine, thank you, sir. How was yours? It was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I sleep like a baby nowadays. Good to hear, sir. Oh, sir, there's a woman in the conference room. She's here to see you, sir. Her name is um, Mrs. Udell, sir. Udell? Yes, sir. Let me guess. One of the loanies coming to beg, eh? Wait. Is it Udell the name of the man who just passed on? Yes, sir. Where did you say she is? In the conference room, sir. Okay. Fine. I'll, I'll attend to her. All right, sir. All right. I have told you I don't want anything to be 
missing in this city. Or else your salary is gone from this world. I hope you're listening to me. Tell, tell Totu that all those things I want all of you to count them and keep them and record them. So that when I come back, all of us will take everything and go and give to the people that own it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> Come in. Now, now. Now, now. Good day, ma. Ah, Jennifer. How are you? Oh, my mommy. Stop crying. Hmm? Your father was a good man. Abu Mami was a very good man. I came to your house yesterday to see your mother. And your mother said you went out. Hmm? But Abu Yomi was a kind man. Hmm? He was a nice man. Oh. You leave it in the hands of God. Morning, man. Uh, I um I hear you're here to see me. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Please, it's Brian. Just Brian. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Brian. Please, I Please, I came to plead with you. Two of your staffs came to my house yesterday. They presented some documents about the transaction my husband, my late husband, had with your company. Yes, I am aware. Please, I came to plead with you. I understand everything stated in that document. I understand the implications but I want you to have mercy. Brian, sir, I and my children have nowhere to go. We have nothing, we have no place. You just give us a little time, I beg you. Madam. Please, no, 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 madam, please. please. Okay. When my secretary told me that you were here to see me, I knew why you had come. Now, I could have had my second in command attend to you, but I chose to come here by myself. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You see, I have your family bio here. Madam, I even know how old you are. You're old enough to have been my late mom. God rest your soul. Look, disrespecting you in any way would have been like disrespecting her. And I would never do that. Thank you. Now, I have listened. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I came here to do, to listen to you. And I have heard everything that you have to say. And I understand. I understand the crisis that you're in. I understand this predicament that you're in, but... Unfortunately, my hands are tied. You see, no, it's, it's, it's company policy. 
and there's nothing that I could do. You know, if it was up to me, maybe I might have been able to do something, but it's not. But there really is nothing I can do. Ryan, please, please. Please, I beg you, please. I'm, I'm sorry that you have to go through this kind of thing at this stage of your life, but there's really nothing I can do. <laughs> Ryan, please, you have to do something. What do you want? Riverside investment is in twenty people that uh, do house. Yeah, real estate. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, daddy, daddy made some investment with them. He borrowed ten million naira. Oh. That is not even the painful part. But I'm came. He could you believe that he used the house as collateral? Yeah. And they just gave us two days to have quit the building. Your father, Abu Omi, use your house to take a loan of 10 million. Yes, Madam hey! Femi. <laughs> now no we don't have wrong. anywhere to go. Please, you have to do something. My secretary would help you on your way out. <laughs> Mrs. Udela, please accept my condolences. <laughs> I'm sorry about your troubles. <laughs> I just came back from my journey. All the money that I used to go for that business entered into this journey. It's until I sell off my bill that I will have money. Right now, I do not have to need money. You don't have to need that, Jennifer. Why are you needing that? She that you don't have to. Please don't let them throw us out. Please. Please, I'll pay you back. Oh. Can you can you borrow from one of your business associates? And I'll and I'll pay you. You give them back. I promise you, just one month I'll run around and sell a few things and, and I'll see what we can raise. Oh, what? You're begging for money. And you have a bag. Is this much? Is this not to design bag? Is that he got it for me? Mm. The last mm. you, you don't sell it and add it to the money that you're looking for so that you help your mother. Okay, it's okay. I can sell it to you. How much is it? 20,000. Eh? Eh? Okay. How much is this one that I'm holding? Look at the name, it's also. Oh, also a, a, a designer. Okay, how much do you have? Is oh, this one, you have bought it for 5,000. And you're here telling me 20,000. Okay. It's Aldo. Eh, eh. This one is uh, J -J -J Jessica. This one is Aldo. Eh, you know difference? Eh? If you're selling the bag, you drop it. So that you add it to the money we're using to help you. You can only give it for 10,000. Uh, that can help us with food for the many days we have. We're to sell Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, 
that you should have seen her. She was, she was in tears, almost on her knees. Yeah. You know, this business can be really hard sometimes. But this is like the seventh person coming to plead in the past two weeks. But her case really touched me there. I know. I know. I know. But, um, well, I guess um, I'll, I'll just, I'll handle it. Okay, I'll do it. Um, hold on, Dad. Um, Hello? Dad? Uh, so, you're coming back tomorrow, right? Before yeah. p.m.? Okay, I will be careful here. I miss you too close. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Amanda! <laughs> Sister, I have been crying. Baby. I want to tell you something very important. Did something bad happen? <laughs> yes, Mel, something really awful happened. <laughs> that is gone and he's never coming back. How do you mean that is gone? Maybe. <laughs> Daddy was involved in a car wreck. Daddy's dead. Daddy's not involved in any cars. Daddy's not dead. Do you have any other plan that is better than mine? What other friends do you have? We've asked everybody we know. Madame, care me again. Mommy, she's not your friend though. Isn't it obvious that she's not willing to help? Mommy, we are using my school fees. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh. When are you coming back? Okay, when you come back now, we'll figure it out. But I still insist we use my school fees. 
That's the only option we have. When are you coming back? I mean, this is not the time to be stubborn. We only have a day to leave this place. So come back. Let's figure it out before they throw, throw our things outside. Please, let's just do this now. Okay. Love you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too. We miss you too. Okay. See you soon. Love you, mommy. Okay. Bye. You're still cleaning. Go and wake your sister up. Get her ready for school so we can leave here. I'm not shouting, but you're still cleaning at this hour. Get her! Please. Are you rushing to? I am rushing to the wharf to check out my goods. This early? Yes, I just got a very urgent call. And I must leave. You have to take your breakfast first. I did it, I must leave. Please, I'm in a hurry. I just got an urgent I must get to the court. You will check. 10 minutes of taking your breakfast, cause any harm. Just 10 minutes. You do not. Okay, just give me 20 minutes on the back. Let us not exceed 20 minutes, Joseph. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yes.
What's up? Nelly, what's good? Um, this. All loans due two days ago have been paid, and for those that couldn't, their properties have been closed. Mm. Good job. Really good job. Uh, let me have the file that holds the acquired properties. Mm. Oh, leave the paid loans with the accountant to check out. I will get right on it. Thanks, man. Oh, come on. I'm only doing my job. Maybe we should go grab a drink later. Sure. Thanks, bro. Same spot. <laughs> Sister, I want mommy to be going to shop today. She's sleeping. Don't you think we should wake her up? Shh. Mommy is really tired. Okay. I think we should let her rest. The whole moving yesterday came down really hard on her. Okay? Okay. You ready? Let's go. Hold on. Come on. If bleach gets you, don't get you. That if no gets you, come on. I love you, that No, it's not a good thing. Ah, say me, I never buy cars. All that like that. Just imagine. Mama Jennifer. Mama Jennifer. Mama Jennifer. You know that I'm the landlord of this place, and yet you refuse to pay my rent, eh? You refuse to pay my rent. Eh? That landlord, please. I know I am owing you. I will pay you. You cannot open no way again, people. You know I just lost my husband. I am here to lock up this shop. Huh? And it's happening right now. No, no. This moment. Landlord, please. Don't you go? Uh, uh, okay, after today's sale, I'll pay. It. <laughs> landlord, landlord. Landlord, please. Please, what? I will, I will pay you. Stupid woman. I'll help. I, I'll try to help you. I yet. I've been thinking about a uh, business we can go into. Okay. Did you come up with anything? Mm. You're full? Yes, mommy. I just want to sleep. Okay, darling. Come on, my room. I'm thinking of us doing agiti or roasted corn. Good night, mom. Good night, sister. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Hmm? Anyone will choose. If we choose agiti, we'll have to do agiti in the morning. Or do roasted corn in the evening. Agiti in the morning, roasted corn in the evening. Whichever one will choose. 
That's what I think. That's a really good idea. But we can actually do both. I mean, we can actually do Agidi in the morning and corn in the evenings. Melinda can help with hawking cold sachet water after school. Mm. What would I give this to them without you? It's beautiful <laughs> mm -hmm. It's perfect. We'll do exactly that. Is it money? Mm -hmm. It takes a butter, so you add little weight. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to take a long day to roast corn mm -hmm. and drag it. Okay. I saw you have to tie it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I see how you tie it. Come on, let this game Okay, mommy. I'll get the spot we discussed about last night. Will you join me later? Mommy? Mommy? Are you okay? Uh, baby. I am not feeling very well. Hmm? I just need to, to sleep for a while. Okay. You're sure you're okay? I will be. I'll be fine. We found you. Okay. I'll see you in the evening then. I'll be fine. Why are you coming back to sleep? <laughs> Mommy, I had to go get some drugs for you. But I've told you never to come back late. Hmm? Never tell you. 
it's okay. It's okay. I won't do it again, but just just take the drugs and be strong, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stop now, me. How far can this pain go? Study very well in school and be a good girl, okay? Okay, mom. Don't be sick, okay? I won't be sick. I'll be fine. Huh? Good. Take care now. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Go straight. <laughs> She's too smart for her age. You're also smart. <sighs> I don't want to see you anywhere near the spot. You need to rest. Can I help you up? Let's go. I will rest. I will come. <laughs> yes, ma. Thank you. Bye, mommy. Bye, baby. You're back. Don't forget your medications, doctor. I will. Bye. Bye, mommy. Good luck. Thank you, mommy. Okay, is a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Man, I'm telling you, she's the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Brian, as I be your guy, that's how you end up hyping all these ladies. You hype and hype them. At the end of the day, they will all turn out to be the same thing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not this one, no. Uh, yes, not this one at all. So what makes you so sure of this now? Mm. Let me tell you what. You know, I was just about to walk up to this girl. Sir, I'm coming. I want to check something across the road. Okay, sir. I do. When I saw her dismiss one other guy like this, hey. <laughs>
Hey. Really? Mm -hmm. So you mean this one is another crazy lady? <laughs> Guy, you have not even recovered from uh, what's that? Vivian's mm -hmm. problem. And now this one. Only Vivian, this guy, eh? this babe, homely, very down to earth. Imagine the guy was trying to impress her. Flashing his wallet all over her face. I mean, who does that? <laughs> That's one. Crazy. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. you know go again. Yeah, I, huh? I changed my mind. Okay. Okay. Well, for... Yeah. Okay, this is uh, battery now, eh? There ain't be problem, but me, I don't charge them. Listen, there's nothing wrong with my battery. No, yeah? no, no. If see, you don't know what to do, you know what? Just, the, just, see, see this thing where they... Just close the car, don't let me See, I'm, see I'm, here it's don't fine. be... Fine. Oh, yeah, you know what? Just close the car, it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Actually, I bought brand new, you're talking... So... <laughs> Everything else is fine, Abby. Yes, sir. Okay. How much is your money? Two thousand. Two thousand for what? For the... For what did you take? I do the weekend for us now. Hmm? I don't try, man. Now the battery, you know. Chairman! I got the hello. I got the hello. So, what's the plan now? I don't know. Just... I don't... You know what? I'm going to go and find her. But I'm going to go in disguise. Disguise? Alright. I think I know what you're trying to do now. <laughs> but don't you think she'll go mad when she finds out you're actually manipulating her? Guys, yeah, Because no. that's what it is. No! It's not, it's not manip... No! Not really. Okay. Where are you now? I just find you since I want to see you. Where are you doing? Tell me. Are you blind? Tell me. Apologize. I should apologize. Yes, now. You just bumped into you, me. You pushed me now. You pushed hey, me first. Hey, young man. Oh, tell this image apologize. Just give me. I don't call this. They just come push me. Ah, what I don't understand. No. You just bumped into okay, me. Why are you lying? You were on the phone and I saw you. I, I apologize to her. I'm going to call for you. I said apologize to her. Nendo. I'm going to call for you. Hello. Hi. Can I can I sit here? That's it. To be to be human be made me this chapel. Sorry. Um, I'm Brian. It's okay. My name is Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. Um, and thank you for what you just did. No, it's fine. It's fine. Isn't this gonna burn? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> it burns. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to put her mind at ease, okay? So she's comfortable with me. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very, very important now. What, what happens to the office? I mean, what do you plan to do? Uh, did you also plan to see her like Saturdays and Sundays? Oh, uh, okay, don't you trust me? I've already planned everything else. I've called the office. I'm telling them now that after three o'clock, I'm done with work. You know, then I'm gonna spend that time with her. Hello, Amanda. Yeah, I need you to place all my appointments after three o'clock till further notice. Yes, till further notice. Just do it. Right. It's like this girl's image is just rolling. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so congratulations on your new phone adventure. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Trust me. Uh... 
So tell me, what's your plan after graduation? I don't know. Maybe I'll try my hand at photography. I mean, <laughs> I really have no interest in real estate. Yeah, you said that yesterday. That probably explains my hatred for the course. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you didn't say much about yourself yesterday. Yeah, that was deliberate. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you said no yesterday. I'm not taking no finance that day. If you want to hear everything I want to say, it. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> I just hope you're not bust this time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's not important. Okay, so, um... What is this you're wearing? That I'm old enough to choose what I want to wear. Of course. But not in an outfit like this. How was your day, sir? Very interesting question. I spent the better part of my day at uh, Riverside, where you happen to be absent as rain during the hammer train. You see, you don't even know what to say. Well, I, I had this new commitment, a, a project that I just started on, right? Yes, of course. The new commitment that has required that you dress like a madman, a street beggar. And I've heard this has been going on for quite some time now. But I always try to make sure that I finish my work before I leave, so I don't know why this is such a big deal, though, son. Look, don't run down my business. Now, go pack up my bag. I leave for Georgia first in tomorrow morning. Is it not obvious? <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to suspect that you're really out father. I mean, the way you guys travel, jeez. <laughs> I have not seen her quite some time now. Where is she? Um, yeah, I'm sure she's around somewhere. Um, I'll see you. Let me go. <laughs> I'm a boy. Talk, Joe. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess what Melinda did? What? That girl, that girl is such a brat. What did she do? Just imagine. The other day, Brian came to the spot mm -hmm. and she was ready for her evening hawks as usual. Yeah. She started acting funny. She was like, she does not want to go. I want to spend more time with Brian. Are you serious? <laughs> you're so crazy. Like, I want to strangle her. I'm kind of jealous. She just said. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, complaining. Mm-hmm. Because she took after mommy's color. Ah, she's just ten. I told you, you're jealous. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? So what exactly is this emergency meeting about? Mr. Brown, please sit down. Okay. I personally called this meeting to call for a vote to remove Mr. Bryan as supervising CEO. <laughs> wait, wait, this, this, this is a prank, right? You guys, you guys are trying to prank. <laughs> Amanda, hope you're taking minutes. The motion called by me to remove Mr. Brian Okua's supervising CEO has been seconded by Mr. James E. Bain. So, I call for a vote. If you are in support of the motion, raise your hands. If you're against the motion, raise your hands. So, as you can see, I'm still the supervising CEO of Riverside Investments Limited. And although this should take another few months, tomorrow, I'll be resuming a more permanent position. Abraham Oko. Get the fuck out of my office. You're fired. This meeting is over. What?
Why is a smile on your face big enough for two people? <laughs> Did you pass a test or something? Something like that. <laughs> Where's my little angel? She should be here soon. Ah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, please, can I have um, two of these roasted corns? Sorry, you look very familiar. Do I know you? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Do I? Wait. Are you one of those people that call the meeting for one Bernard in, in Hillside? Bernard? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Bernard Okorocha, you mean? Yes, Bernard Okorocha. Well, uh, I wasn't part of those who called for the meeting, but if you do remember very well, I actually supported Bernard. Yeah, yeah that's true. All right. Hey, before you go, you should buy more corn. All right, okay. Let me have um, three more. No, no, no. You should buy everything. Ah. <laughs> buy everything. Huh? All right, it's okay. Let me have all of it. All, yeah. He's a big boy. He has the money. Even that one, I'll tell <laughs> No. Thank you, sir. Bye. How did you do that? Do what? How did you make him buy everything? <laughs> oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, perfect. <laughs> what? What happened? Your mother. Your mother. Your mother. Your mother is dying. My mom. Yes. Where? Yes. She said she wanna call you. still haven't told me how the doctor knows your name, Brian. When did he die? My dad. Your father. Well, I just came from the room. I had to come see you. It's been a while. 
I'm so <laughs> happy. Friends like you, Daddy. This is my fourth trip into it. Wow. <laughs> wow. By the way, how's it doing? I should be asking you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I guess it's fine. Yes, uh, I am guessing because he found himself this new engagement that makes him wear rags this day. Rags? Yes. Rags? Well, like I said before, <laughs> I will be leaving for Georgia. My dear, find him and talk some senses into his head. Okay, Daddy. Let me I'll show try. you something. Welcome. What's the woman's name again? Judith Udiala. And who is she? She's my girlfriend. The patient's first of What does that mean? Oh my God. Can you explain how this happened? Yes, that brings me to my next friend. You can't afford a space here. <laughs> but it wasn't projected for us. You have how you feel. 350,000 naira should be enough to take care of everything. 350,000 naira. I'm using somebody else's phone. I need you to transfer some money into HMC's account. Yes. Four hundred thousand. Isn't it time for you to go pick up your sister? Who are you? Look, Jennifer, I just need you to come. Okay? I'm sorry. For what? I need you to please forgive me. For what, Brian? I've been lying. I've been lying to you. I'm not exactly who I've been claiming to be. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Don't touch know. me. Don't you dare touch me. The same man you came in with yesterday. You mean Brian? Brian Oko, the CEO of Riverside Investments. <sighs> okay. I'm 
see you in my office. Riverside. The same Riverside investment. I think you should just hear him out. Hear what? He lied to me. That is an established fact. But he has bigger intentions. Paying your mother's hospital bill. That was a whole lot. I know that lady. Who? That one. Thank you. 